So we got married in March of 1999. Ryan enlisted into the Army. I've done tours in Kosovo, Iraq, and Afghanistan. See the reality for children on the street in these different places. And I just wondered to myself now, where is he? Where is she? What happened to them? I have three incredible little men, the three boys. Taylor, Cole, and Riley. Who I love beyond what I could ever say. It was actually Ryan who came to me. I was like, I think we should adopt. I just looked at him and I said, I think you're a little bit crazy. <laughs> we found our daughters on a waiting child list. When we saw our girls' pictures on that website, it said contact Sue at Celebrate Children International. Children need to be in families, not in institutions. What's your name? What is his name? Many of these children would die if it wasn't for adoption. She can get you the youngest baby really fast. Three to six months before she can go home. If you get a baby home in five months, I mean, you're going to love her. I had no way to find out that this was happening until it happened to me. I feel that I was taken advantage of. Her in-country representatives are being accused of heinous things. These things are not okay. We knew that international adoption is challenging. We were naive in how much real trouble there is. It's life or death. I mean, I've literally seen children die. The line between adoption, which is a beautiful thing, and child trafficking, which is deplorable. That line is all too fine. I mean, there needs to be a chasm between the two. I had to figure out how to get my girls home. If we want this to happen, we're just going to have to go do it ourselves. It's just unreal. I mean, is there anything else that a person can do to prove to the Congolese government that I care about these kids? I love these kids enough to do whatever it takes to get them home, whatever it takes.